Hey, what's going on, everybody? I uh, I wasn't gonna talk, make a video talking about the disaster of a debate we saw the other night, but I just thought I'd make a quick video. Not gonna break it down too much. There was, you know, some interesting points. Let's just say that made by the two candidates uh, when they weren't busy talking about golf or stuttering through their sentences. Um, but the one big takeaway that I think that most people are, are coming away from this debate with is Joe Biden's finished. I mean, at, at this point, support for Joe Biden, after how bad that was, is just support for Donald Trump at this point. There's no point voting for him right now. And if you're a real Democrat and you want to actually beat Donald Trump, the person that you should be voting for right now is Robert Kennedy Jr. I don't know if you saw it because he had his own version of the debate where he would, you know, he had his... You know his his audience, and he stood up at his stage, and then you know his um, his host would basically pause the debate after Jake Tapper or Dana Bash would ask a question, then or sorry, then Biden would answer, then Trump would answer, and then they'd pause it and let Robert Kennedy answer. And if you haven't you know listened to Robert Kennedy, he did seven point one million views so far from that debate. I think CNN only did three million, so. Really, I mean, let's be honest here. Trump was Trump, right? He wasn't as over the top and really as funny as he usually is. But, and, you know, he was still, you know, a lot of lies, a lot of I'm the best at everything and all this nonsense. But Joe Biden, it was a disaster. He could barely speak. He was, he looked senile the whole time. And you know, a lot of people have made this point, and I 100% agree with it, that this is elderly abuse at this point. I mean, they, they got to let him go. Let him go retire, live the rest of his life. I mean, I, even I'm starting to feel bad for him. And I don't like Joe Biden. But your best option right now to beat Donald Trump is if you just move all over to the independent Robert Kennedy, who's actually a real Democrat, not a corporate Democrat or a, an establishment Democrat. He is a populist Democrat, a populist left, a left winger who wants to do what's best for the American people. Trump or Biden don't. Voting for either one of those, you're just voting for the same shit. We've seen four years of both. Trump did not drain the swamp. He did not end the wars. He did not release the remaining 3% uh, of the Robert Kennedy or the, of the JFK files that is illegally being withheld from us right now. He talked a lot of big game. He didn't do a whole lot of good things. A few good things. No new wars. First Step Act program. Good but Robert Kennedy would do all that, plus go after corporations who are, you know, buying up communities worth of residential properties and, you know, t tackling the national debt and, you know, ending the Ukraine proxy war and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. His environmental work has been incredible, where he's by far the best candidate, not only of this election, but in my lifetime. So if you're a liberal and you're a Democrat or you're a left-wing populist or you're even just a slight right-wing populist, he's the best option. So if you want to beat Trump, move over to Kennedy. Because even when, not if, when the Democrats replace Joe Biden, who are they going to replace him with? Michelle Obama, honestly, in my opinion, and I I don't like Michelle Obama, I don't like anything Obama, but she probably beats Trump. Gavin Newsom, though, yeah, he's a sharp debater and he, he talks a big game too, but he sucks. He's terrible. He's the governor of California. I mean, just go look at his track. I don't even have enough time today to go over how many bad things he's done. But just look at the how he handled COVID for one example. And then just go look at like the, his track record. He's terrible. And that's who I think they're going to choose. Does he beat Donald Trump? I don't know. I predicted a while ago that he will be the next president. I still kind of think that's true. Because in my opinion... They'll never let Trump back in office. They'll especially never let Robert Kennedy in office, but we should still be voting for him anyway so that we can expose as much corruption as possible instead of voting for Trump, who we've had, or for someone like Biden, who we've had for a long time. Establishment Republican, establishment Democrat, yada, yada, yada. It's the same shit. Trump is slightly, like I would say he's like 80, 90% establishment, not 100 like Biden is, but Robert Kennedy's anti-establishment. You want real change? You want real hope for the middle class? You want real hope for you know, someone tackling the healthcare crisis, for example? If you're an if you're a climate change activist, if you're a if you're just anti-corruption altogether, this is the guy you want, and this is the guy who actually won the debate. 
Like the, the Trump Biden thing, it was a disaster. It was kind of funny. Like Trump had that moment where he, where he said, "I don't think uh, I didn't understand what Joe Biden just said. I don't even think he understood what he just said." That was kind of funny, right? And Trump, you know, he kind of barbed him a little bit there, but he was relatively calm in terms of how he usually is. You know, making fun of people and talking shit about them and whatnot. But let's be honest, guys, the real winner was Robert Kennedy Jr. And let's make him the real winner in November as well. Robert Kennedy Jr. for president.